What is up guys, Star Chaser Gaming here, back for a brand new video where today we're finally going to open some Obsidian Flames boosters pack, booster packs in the form of the uh, Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box. As well as, you can see here, I've got six Paradox Rift packs that we will also be opening up today. Let's get right into it. Oh, I've also got a pair of scissors in case we encounter any stubborn packs. Alright. Let's get this open. Probably start over. Actually, you know what? Let me grab something better. Be right back. I am back. I will be using an X-Acto knife to very carefully open up the packaging around the Elite Booster Box. Just gonna stab it into there. And there we go. Just like that. Keep that off to the side. Now we can just tear the rest off. There we go. Nice and opened up. Just like that. Now every Elite Trainer box comes standard with the sleeve, which inside has a player's guide themed after the set, obviously. That'll be good for new players, but of course I've been playing for a while. We've got this very nice looking box with Charmander on the front. It's Charmander on the back. Alright, let's pop her open. We got a separator. Lift that off. There we go, Obsidian Flames Booster Packs. I believe eight come standard in each. Maybe it changed, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh, interesting. Maybe it is, always has been nine and I was just mistaken. The Burn and Poison Markers. Dice and Damage Counter damage counting die separators so you can separate different decks you can separate your deck from uh, extra cards extra sleeves your die everything you need to play the game a whole assorted pack of basic energies a full art Charmander promotional card. Let's get this opened up. There we go. Nice and easy. Just like that. Oh, that is very nice. Oh, that's very terrible. Oh, that focus is terrible. Put this off to the side. We'll put it right there within view. And of course, the mentioned sleeves. Each Elite Trainer box will come with absolutely everything that you need to play the game. As well as hopefully enough cards to build a proper deck. Can't say that it'll be the best deck, but hey, it's a start. So let's get this off to the side over here, alongside these, there we go, clear off some space, now then, let's get started, first pack right here. Nice and easy. I really love the new packaging. It is so easy to get it open without doing too much damage to the packaging itself. And, of course, without a lot of the fuss. There we go. Nice and easy. Set this off to the side. Code card, of course. Flip it over. We get a Shuckle. Bisharp. Magneton, 
Temple, Espeon, Floatzel, Whiskash, Chandelure, Glimmit, and Gita. Oh, there's one more. Of course, they're basic energy. We got an electric energy. Next pack. Come on, Obsidian Flames. This is the first time open it. Or, sorry, not the first, first time. We opened up three Obsidian Flames packs back in the last video, I believe it was. Before the Halloween video. Green code card. We get Surskit, Darumaka, Froki. Interesting to still see Gen 6 and Gen. What gen are we in now? 8? Bound Sweet. Letter of Encouragement. Chandelure. Patrol Cap. Pultigeist. Skarmory. A full art Vespiqueen EX. Ooh, that is beautiful. That should come in handy. And a Fire Energy. Now, as previously stated, I do play the game, so many of these cards may end up being part of one of my decks in the future. Hopefully, as summer rolls around, I can start delivering some gameplay videos, and potentially even some tournaments, who knows? But for now, my deck still needs a fair amount of playtesting and editing. Gold card off to the side, and before I forget, I actually better sleeve the Vespa Queen EX. Nope, flip that around. There we go, nice and easy. Put you up there. Vulpix, my favorite Pokemon of all time, along with its Alolan form and its evolution. Phantom, Paldian Wooper, Weasel. Bell Awesome, Pokemon League Headquarters, Lunatone, Trevenant, A Fool Art Larvitar, Thunderous, and a Basic Psychic Energy. Now let's get the Larvitar and sleeve this bad boy up. It's actually a very nice looking Larvitar too. Alright, here we go, on to the next pack. Sorry if I sound a little different today, I'm still a little bit sick. But y'all know how it is. So far, Obsidian Flames is treating us well. And I totally dropped that one. Bonsley. Dolive. Timpole, Surskit, Darmanitan, Stoutland, Frogadier, Timpole, Swablu, Palafin, and a basic Dark Energy. Okay, I believe that is all of the art. Oh, no, it's not all of the arts quite yet. Looks like we still need one more. Alright, next pack. This is going way faster. Code card. Vulpix. Phantom, Paldian Wooper, Weasel, Houndoom, that is a nice art for Houndoom, I might put you in a deck just for that, Brasius, Brasius, let me know in the comments how he pronounce his name, Magnezone, Baltoy, another full art Larvitar, let's get you sleeved up,
That's the second one that we've gotten. Obsidian Flames treating us well. Gita. Basic Fighting Energy. Looks like the next one that we open up will complete the uh, set. Let's see. Come on, give us something amazing. He gave us the Vespa Queen EX full art. Crab Brawler. Clefairy. Capsicid. Town Store. Mawile. Oofilon. Crabominable. Ooh, that's an evolution set. Finizen. Nine Tails. Would you look at that? Majestic. Tyranitar EX. Full art. Would you look at that? And to finish off, yet another basic fighting energy. Quite menacing, I must say. An electric type Pokemon. That requires fighting type energy. Huh. That's a thought. And there we go. Last art to complete our art set. Here we go, off to the side. Code card. Surskit. Darumaka. Froki. Bounce Sweet. Ortega. Valcarona. Altaria. Probe Pass. Darkrai. Togekiss. And a basic grass energy to end it off. Alright, we got two more packs to go. Come on, let's keep up that streak. And I just realized the Vespa Queen EX is actually Poison type. Or Psychic, sorry. Poison type technically does not exist in the TCG. Unfortunate. Tadbulb. Steeny, Paldian Wooper. We got a different art for it this time, too. Baltoy, Bufilon, Crabominable, King Gambit, Litwick, Rowlet, Toxtricity, and ended off another basic grass energy. <laughs> Oy. I should probably take some medicine after this. Oh well, I'll live. Let's see, I can't prom actually. No, I will put some music over this. Otherwise, this will be extremely boring. Timpole, Surskit, Numel, Grievered, Chandelure, Patrol Cat, Bell Awesome, Espion, Steeny. Rita, in a basic psychic energy. Alright, that's all of our Obsidian Flames booster packs from the Obsidian Flames Elite Trainer Box. I think we got some decent pulls. Actually, are all EXs full art? No, no, they're not, actually. Uh, all the terrestrialized ones might be. We'll need to double check that. Let's get these all into a pile. Oh dear. Alright, on to Paradox Rift. This is the first time that I have ever opened up this pack, so I have no idea what to expect. At all. Oh. A little bit of trouble. Let's see if maybe we can get a bit of uh, first-timer's luck. There we go. 
course, the coveted gold, or code card, why did I say gold? Horsey, Joltik, Natu, Remoraid, Slitherwing, Ancient, ooh, that'll be a fun one to play with, Gorgeist, Tatugiri, Tatugiri, Tinkatink, Exploud, Zacian. Interesting to still see Sword and Shield era in, uh. Oh, Scarlet and Violet. Basic Psychic Energy. Next up, we have. I forget your Paradox Form's name. Uh, something Moon? Gosh dang it. Code card. Oracorio, an electric type one at that. If only you were Fusion Strike. Toad School. Vanillite. Char Cadet. Absol. Oh, that is a nice art. Might put you into a darkness deck. Simisage. Norman. Very normal looking. Onyx, Crustal, Ting Lu, and a basic fire energy. Next pack, we are blowing right through these. Ooh, my hand got really close to the camera there. There we go, nice and quick. That's what we're looking for. Code card. Tinka Tough. Trubbish. Crustal. Onyx. Earthen Vessel. Ancient. Medical Energy. That could be a fun one. Different art for Steedy. Spinda. Blitzel. That is a very nice art for a Blitzel. <whistles> Iron Valiant EX. A future version. Nice. Psychic type. Nice bit of damage. And a basic water energy to end it off. Sleeve up our Iron Valiant. It'd be awesome if we could pull its uh, guard, uh, guard of War version. I forget what it's called. Oh no, I, I was thinking of the Megas. Never mind. Gods, Megas. That was all the way back in what? Gen 6? I feel old. Code card. Flittle. Nicket. Nackley. Nimble. Gliscor. Absol. Simisage. Nien Fu. Fuecoco. Zatu. And a basic fighting energy. Alright, we have completed the art set for this set. On to our last two packs. And I'm already starting to fall off. This is great. There we go. Code card off to the side. Yamask. Hey, gotta readjust. Spinda. Tinkatink. Tandem Mouse. Norman. Orthworm. Interesting. Toad's Cruel. Rika. 
Steelix. That, that's an art right there. As well as Iron Jugulus. So we've got in two Future Paradox and one Ancient Paradox so far. Basic Dark Energy. Alright, final pack. We didn't get a whole lot from uh, uh, Paradox Rift. But we did get some Futures and an Ancient. Let's see if this last pack will be a banger for us. Actually, let's leave our uh, future. There we go. Code cool. card off to the side. Ah! That's staying in the video. Wismer. Dwebble. Dublade. Dublade? Surskit. Screamtail, another ancient form. Technical Machine Devolution. Exploud. Wiglet. Iron Moth Full Art. And S. Bartha evolves from Flittle, as well as a basic grass energy to end it off. Look at that full art. That is pretty. Alright, let's get him sleeved up. Nope, there we go. Alright, thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!